<laughs> Why? Well, we want to show how interesting beer can be, you know, and, and that it is legitimately a beverage to pair with food. Uh, I think when you go to a large tasting menu, uh, more and more often, the sommelier might pair a beer here and there. So if you think about uh, some of these amazing restaurants, sommelier has no restraints. You know, he can order whatever wine in the world. The fact that you see one, two beers popping up in a five, six uh, wine pairing menu is, is something to say, you know. How many beers? We have 21 taps and then about 150 bottles. So. Say either between the sour beers, which is very popular, very very much coming back, or the barrel-aged beers. You know, they, so there's a lot of barrel aging as in wine with beer. Once the dish is made, can you find a drink to go along with that dish, with those flavors? Of course you can find a brilliant wine. Our point is, of course you can also find a brilliant beer that sometimes can actually match better due to the vast majority of nuances that beer can have. There's no limitations to the brewers whatsoever, which is very different than how wine works. You know? Beers is different, in particular with IPAs, uh, pale ales, uh, Indian pale ales must be fresh. They must be drunk within a few months. Point, the cellar, you do not have IPAs in the cellar. You simply, you basically almost uh, don't drink IPAs out of a bottle. But there are beers that do cellar well, which like stouts, a lot of the sour ales, lambics uh, from Belgium. With all the natural yeast and fermentation going on, they actually sell it very well, really well. And that's a good example of, okay, main course coming, we want the burgundy or the this, and this is just a great example of, doesn't taste like beer. Any beer you've ever had, there's no way you thought beer could taste this way, because it's oak barrel aged with plums, and it's just, you know, that's a good example of, with meat dishes, we can find something acidic, balanced, some sort of light tannicness from the barrels, and so I think that's a good example of why to do it.